live from the Guadalajara capital. This is the GBN Television News. GBN covering you from the Grenadine Island chain to Brooklyn, New York, via the World Wide Web on www.gbn.gd. The news headlines is brought to you compliments. GUT Credit Union. I want to be free, as free as can be. They say that freedom is the ability to fully experience life. The GUT Credit Union is giving you the freedom to choose. Get a loan for any purpose, whether it's consolidating your debt, buying a vehicle, owning your home, back to school, or a dream vacation. We offer competitive rates with terms and payments that fit your lifestyle. Call 4401354, email loans at gutcu.com, or visit go.gutcu.com forward slash freedom to start enjoying your life, your money, your way. Promotion ends September 30th, 2022. Special conditions apply. More freedom, more choices. GUT Credit Union. It's where you belong. From the Grenadian capital, this is Network News for Thursday, August 4, 2022. In the headlines, the Royal Grenada Police Force to adopt zero tolerance approach ahead of major carnival events. Grenada Tourism Authority counts the economic impact of SVG flights. Government dishes out thousands of dollars in financial support to Groovy and Sokomona finalists. In around the globe regionally, in Jamaica, uh, Noel Maitland charged with Donnelly Donaldson's murder. Internationally, U.S. President Joe Biden signs new executive order on abortion. Plus in the sports news, swimmers Zachary Gresham and Tilly Colomo receive high praise for their performances at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. The first segment of the news comes to you compliments. Soft weave, bathroom tissue. Have you heard about the new soft weave bathroom tissue with total hygiene? As hygiene and safety have taken center stage, a bathroom tissue is now manufactured with three different technologies to offer the best protection for you and your family. UVC light technology for a safe and effective disinfection process, eliminating 99.9% .9 of microorganisms. Also, production at high temperatures, killing all types of germs and bacteria. And it's pH controlled with delicate fibers to prevent irritation for even sensitive skin. Soft Weave Total Hygiene Bathroom Tissue. Available in supermarkets and shops island-wide. Visit Soft Weave Caribbean Facebook or Instagram pages for more information. Good evening, I'm Ken Roy Batiste with Network News. As we hit the peak of the carnival season, with most of the biggest events beginning this evening, the Royal Grenada Police Force has shifted into high gear. Here's more in this Christina John report. Officer in charge of crime, Superintendent Vanny Cohen, noted a trend they've seen developed, that of an increase in property crimes. He implores people this carnival season to avoid becoming targets and or victims to criminals. There are some people who make a livelihood, make a living during carnival, just coming out here, being out there, um, preying on your vulnerability and the exposure of your valuables, your wallets, and they would pick your pocket. And we've seen a lot of that in the past. And so this morning, I want to start by saying it is not necessary that you, you, you come to or go to any carnival shows with an exorbitant amount of cash. We want to advise you this morning to only take the cash that you think you will need with you, on you, and avoid walking around with large sums of money that eventually can be taken away from you. So that the officer warns against people lowering their morals and values, especially after the consumption of drugs and alcohol. So if you must drink, we ask you to do so moderately. Um, avoid becoming intoxicated. We, are, we want to discourage the use of, of illicit drugs, um, marijuana, cocaine, and the other type of drugs. Those are illegal in Grenada. And so law enforcement are going to be out there ensuring that we do our utmost best to ensure that our laws are, be, are followed during the carnival season. Superintendent Cohen says the RGPF will be adopting a zero-tolerance approach, citing an already high level of violent crimes on record. Zero-tolerance. 
Mr. Mitchell had indicated the fact that during carnival season, the RGPF has a zero tolerance policy on offensive weapons, knives, cutlasses. We ask that you leave those home. This is a festive season. We all are coming out here to enjoy um, Spice Mass 2022. We have not had carnival for two years. And I'm sure that I will see quite a lot of all my, uh, my fellow Grenadians in the street enjoying Spice Mass 2022. We want to do this in an atmosphere of peace, safety, and comfort. So we ask that you leave the knives, the screwdrivers, the offensive weapon at home. If you are found with those, our zero tolerance policy means that while we may forgive you, show some forbearance and tolerance and discretion. During normal times, during carnival, we don't, particularly for offensive weapon. You will get a charge. No matter who you are, you will get charged. People are advised to avoid leaving valuables in their vehicles, such as wallets, laptops, jewelry, or otherwise. This is what the officer recommends. You know that, as I indicated earlier on, property crime becomes a concern for us during carnival season. So if you're going to be leaving your home, or if you're going to be having valuable in your in your vehicle we ask that you at least engrave some sort of markings on your vehicle know the serial number of your items so should it be stolen and recovered it will be easily identified by you Christina John GBN News Netherlands Insurance is continuing to promote safe driving. With major carnival events in full swing, the insurance company has teamed up to bring back its Silver Up Zone for Spice Mass 2022. Netherlands Insurance is partnered once again with Brandon and Miners Limited and the Grenada Bottling Company to promote safe driving by reviving its Sober Up Zones at various events this Spice Mass season. The Netherlands Sober Up Zone provides the public, mainly motorists, a designated safe space to refresh themselves before leaving events. At the Sober Up Zone, patrons are offered coffee, tea, water, light refreshment, and a space to rest before heading out on the nation. Roads. The zone also offers free and safe breathalyzer tests certifiably calibrated to detect any excess in the legal alcohol limit for drivers. Netherlands Insurance Managing Director Richard Strawn noted that the Sober Up Zone was first introduced in 2015. Since then, the Sober Up Zone became a welcomed and anticipated feature at events that attracted large crowds and other selected events particularly over festive seasons. The Netherlands Sober Up Zone was a highlight at Pre-Day and will be found at Groovy and Soka Monarch and Biggest White on Carnival Friday and Sunday, respectively. Netherlands Insurance is encouraging motorists and pedestrians to exercise road safety while enjoying the festivities of the season. Remember, do not drink and drive. Appoint a designated driver and plan alternative ways to get home. In the event... You have too much to drink. Joseph Cador, GBN News. Now, the Ministry of Culture is financially supporting artists slated for the Groovy and Soka finals at the National Stadium on Friday. Here's the report. The assistance will include covering the basic price for stage fees at $5,000. Accommodation for access to changing rooms for the artist, as well as stage props and the allowance of a minimum of 15 backstage passes for workers per artist, with an option to purchase additional at half price. The stage presentation fee of $5,000 forms part of associated cost, which, as they indicated, made it impossible for them to organize a suitable presentation for the night. The decision to assist comes because of the entertainment industry's financial situation post-COVID-19 and the fact that many artists are left with debts after the carnival season. The check will be made payable to the Spice Mass Corporation through the National Lotteries Authority for every finalist on the night of the competition. The decision to assist finalists follows a meeting with Groovy and Soka finalists and the Minister for Youth, Sports and Culture, Ron Redhead, and Permanent Secretary, Norman Gilbert, on Wednesday. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News. Well, the upstage team is reviving traditional mass with the presentation of Sailor Mass for Spice Mass 2022. Beverly Tellisford has this report. Sailor Mass. 
is actually a traditional masquerade known to Grenada. So it's part of our cultural heritage. It was very popular way back in the 60s and 70s. And we're so happy at Upstage to revive this traditional part of our culture. Our masqueraders would portray sailor costumes, so really dress in a sailor costume. There's different versions of the sailor traditionally, and there are also unique dances that the sailor, the sailors would have on the road as well. Sailor mass band leader Chris Lynn Lashington, as she gave a background of what sailor mass is about. Team Upstage has embarked on reintroducing sailor mass to the spice mass lineup of traditional mass. Lashington said, because it has been decades since sailor mass was last portrayed in Grenada, her team had to do extensive research to ensure proper production for the staging of the mass. Now at Upstage, we are a team of creatives. We have playwrights on the team, we have teachers and so forth. So a lot of people who are involved in culture and we were able to do a lot of research. We are also connected with a Sailor Mass uh, leader in Trinidad who helped us as well in the process of doing research and finding out more. We spoke to a lot of senior citizens in Grenada who used to play Sailor Mass. So we got a lot of information. The only thing we haven't found is footage. We have no footage. The band leader alluded to a new component added to the Mass for its reintroduction. But now what we're doing is opening up another section, which is your make your own Sailor section, where you come in your white and we're able to provide you with the other elements of the Sailor Mass costume. Okay. We're giving people an option as well to make your own Sailor. So come with your white outfit and you pay a a fee and you get your hat as well as we have all-inclusive packages as well so we're making it a little bit more affordable so it starts as low as $50 for children and 100 for adults if you want to just join the band for Carnival Monday and Tuesday. Here's how you can become a part of the Sailor Mass Band for 2022. Registration is open until we're sold out so we're actually keeping registration open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We are in front of the Esplanade Mall booth number 26 from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. on all those days and if we still have packages available we will be selling them on the road Monday and Tuesday and we are starting from the Compass shipping yard on Karani James Boulevard on both days and if you you come down to our booth at the Esplanade Mall you can actually get a huge discount you can say you saw me on the news and you can get a hundred dollars off your package for the skipper section Kristen Lashington ending that Beverly Tellisford report. This is Network News, still ahead from Friday to discuss appointments to statutory bodies. Stay close. Grenada, get ready as Tropics Entertainment presents the white experience of a lifetime. Pure white, featuring one, Chanel Muir. Stay. Get pop boy, please get my problem child. And lyrical. Plus, Mr. Killer, Lava Man, Wes Ways, Lil Carey, Jab King, a live band, and many more. Pure White, the ultimate white experience. Water, mass, mud, light, and music. Carnival Saturday night, August 6th at Moonlight City. La Poetry. Early bird tickets, $75. Advance 90. VIP 400. Available now at all the usual ticket outlets in St. John, St. Mark, St. Patrick, St. Andrew, St. David, and St. George. Or get them online at gotofet.com. Pure White. Pure White. Nothing but white at Moonlight City. Oh man, you just got to be there. Building or renovating your home or business? Why not use clean, renewable energy? Install solar panels to power your home and office and see your energy costs go down and your savings go up. Using renewable solar powered energy protects our environment, reduces our carbon footprint and slows the devastating impact of climate change. Republic Bank can help to finance construction and renovations that make use of renewable energy. Visit any Republic Bank branch and ask about renewable energy financing options today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you.
Ladies and gentlemen, the final of the Groovy Soka and Power Soka Monarch is here. Friday, August 5th at the National Stadium. Battling it out for the Groovy Monarch will be Papa Jerry, EC, Royalty, Lil Jello, Scholar and Papi Boy, Crave, Brother B, Abby Moraine, Looney Spark and Electrify, Mr. Walkie, and Hits. And attempting to take the Power Soka Monarch crown will be Terror the Governor, Jab King, Lil Jello, Pinky Fabulous, Lead Neck, Mellow, Stunner, Super Flying Flint, Looney Spark and Electrify, Mr. Walkie, and Hits. Admission $100, more on the day, or experience it front stage in our premium all-inclusive VIP for $500. There will also be special guest appearances on the night. The quest is on to crown the Groovy and Power Soka Monarch for 2022. Who will it be? Friday, August 5th from 8 p.m. National Stadium. The battle is on. Powered by the National Lottery Authority, Flow, and Cara Brewery. After two years of no mass, no bacchanal, and no vibe, are you ready to be thrilled again? Well, get ready for amazing colors. Well, Monday Night Mass. And this year will be the most amazing return ever. Amazing Colors presents Trilogy. Want to play Monday Night Mass? Then it's easy. Call 415-6174. It's Amazing Colors Trilogy. Unlimited drinks all night. It's Amazing Colors Trilogy. Monday Night Mass. It will be amazing. In our part of the world, we need to be prepared for natural disasters like storms and hurricanes, even outside of the season. I'm sure you'll agree that keeping our loved ones, homes, and businesses safe is important. So, I came up with a few quick tips to help you stay safe. First, make a family disaster plan and ensure that everyone in your household is familiar and comfortable with it. Remember to add batteries and flashlights to your emergency kit. Now, for electrical safety. Familiarize yourself with your electrical panel as it may be necessary to switch off the power during a storm or flood. Make sure you install a transfer or isolation switch to prevent your generator feeding electricity to Grenlex line. If trees are too close to power lines, call Grenlex at 237 for advice. By following these easy steps, you will be well on your way to being hurricane ready. Don't be caught off guard by natural disasters. Prepare now. For more information, visit Grenlec.com. My name is Mikita Williams and I've been a member of Arisa for over 10 years. And what I like most about Arisa Credit Union is that they are reliable, um, they are very professional, and their customer service is top rank. Over the years, Arisa has helped me to be a better saver. It has helped me to um, acquire small loans and um, to do various personal business and to just be comfortable. Um, I chose to become a member because I was influenced highly by my mom. Um, she played a great um, part in my life and her relationship with Arisa was very good and they treated her well and I really wanted to be a part of something great as that. Being a member of Arisa has really helped me to feel as though I'm a part of a family, something greater. Congratulations Arisa on 75 years of transforming the lives of all Grenadians. The biggest white is back and bigger than ever. Give me the island breeze, cool them vibes. This year, we're taking you straight into Juve, literally. Oh, na, na, na. You stay on, you stay on, on the with a solid cast of our local Soka superstars. Be prepared for a night of non-stop energy and mass. Early road tickets are available now for $80, or you can step up your experience in VIP for $500. Available from Go to Fet and all official Sunshine Promotion box offices island-wide. The biggest fight is here. And this time, we're taking you straight into Juve. GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. Building or renovating your home or business? Why not use clean, renewable?
renewable energy. Install solar panels to power your home and office and see your energy costs go down and your savings go up. Using renewable solar powered energy protects our environment, reduces our carbon footprint and slows the devastating impact of climate change. Republic Bank can help to finance construction and renovations that make use of renewable energy. Visit any Republic Bank branch and ask about renewable energy financing options today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. All right, so the arrival of SVG Air not only brings a new mode of transportation for people traversing between Grenada and Karakou, but also greater revenue for the state of Grenada. Christina John looks at the revenue side of SVG's flights. CEO of the Grenada Tourism Authority, Petra Root, says that as flights return to Karakou, this means an injection of revenue into the local economy. Connectivity is critical to ensuring a healthy, performing economy as it enables businesses to connect to different opportunities and facilitates incoming visitors from across the globe. It also augurs well for hoteliers and other business operators on the sister isles. Leo Joseph, proprietor of the Mermaid Hotel in Karakou, and Sister Iros, as she is locally called, who operates her booth at the Lauriston Airport, expressed to GBN the benefits they anticipate from SVG's flights. Hopefully, with, with the advent of a, a better access to Karakou, we have more people coming to Karakou. So with that, we're excited. So it means good for us as as we this course. The Twin Otter is not a new service to Karaku. Years ago, back in the 60s, we had Twin Otters. So the Twin Otter coming back again is just a, a repeat of history. So it's, it's good, but it's make a big difference for us. I'm feeling so happy because this was long awaiting. And the flight was, was good overall. I've traveled with it before and it was smooth running. And for business, well, let's hope. I'm just hoping that things would um, well emerge and get better because um, it's been such a long time. I've, I've been awaiting business back on the airport. Well-known culture man Leftis says, although this is not the first time for SVG Air to Karakou, it is a welcome back after a long wait. And this experience or the reintroduction of the United States flight is, is good for us as a people. Give us more options to travel between the islands. And it also gives us the opportunity to travel more times during the, day, during the week. Because in the past few weeks, we have only three days of travel. Now we have five days we can travel with the airline. So it gives us more options to travel between Karakou and Grenada. Christina John, GBN News. The Deacon Mitchell-led administration is exploring the possibility of reinstating Liat as one of the main airlines to offer inter-Caribbean flights to Grenada from other Caribbean islands. Rina Pair Thomas reports. Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell says government is looking into the possibility of reintroducing LIAT 2020 as the airline offering inter-Caribbean flights to and from Grenada. Regional travel within the OECS has become a real challenge after the collapse of LIAT 1974 over two years ago. As such, the newly elected NDC administration hopes to improve the flight conditions between Grenada and other Caribbean islands. As you may be aware, uh, I think there's LIAT 2020, um, which currently operates out of Antigua, that has two, two planes in, in service. The question may be whether that service is extended, um, whether a new entity is created. There's also inter-Caribbean airline, whether there's a combination of, of both of that. Where we are is that we want to ensure that there's appropriate air service that services the, the Caribbean, and we are committed to helping in any way we, we can. Um, PM Mitchell spoke of some of the ways his administration may have to invest to solve the issues of regional traveling. No, it may mean a uh, direct financial contribution, uh, whether from an equi equity perspective, whether from a loan perspective. It may mean looking at the taxes uh, and landing charges and fees that are charged at our airport. Um, we are open to looking at all of the possibilities um, and coming up with the best solution in terms of our, our support. Um, what I can say to you is that we are committed to paying our part in, in ensuring that regional travel returns um, for the benefit of, of Grenada. Our tourism, our regional tourism market has almost disappeared 
uh, because of the lack of air connectivity to Grenada. The cost for visitors to travel to Grenada is exorbitant and can become a major issue in the future, says the Prime Minister, and the reason they are trying to tackle this matter now. Uh, it is very difficult to travel from Grenada regionally, and it is very expensive to travel from Grenada to the international markets. I think uh, our diaspora citizens have been complaining about the cost of flights from uh, the eastern seaboard of North America to get to Grenada. Uh, many of them have to stop in St. Lucia, for instance, and take British Airways down from St. Lucia to get to, to Grenada. Um, and so as a, a government, we recognize the critical role that uh, air travel plays um, in our economy, in our social life, and in our development. And therefore, we, we are committed to doing everything that we can to uh, improve that situation. For GBN News, I'm Rena Pair thomas reporting. Other well, news, Cabinet will meet on Friday to discuss the appointments to statutory bodies. Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell expressed satisfaction with approximately 1,600 applications in response to government's call for citizens to apply to serve at these statutory bodies. We are doing our best to make sure that we can, in fact, have uh, competent, qualified persons with a, a sufficient age range experience and gender balance, um, because that's critical for us. Uh, and so I expect um, once we get out of Carnival, uh, that we would be able to announce um, the filling of, of many of these uh, statutory bodies. We have begun to, to fill some of them. So for example, the Citizenship by Investment Committee is fully constituted. Uh, the board for Grenlick is also fully uh, constituted. And so we expect uh, entities like the Planning Authority, Marketing and National Importing Board, NOASA, etc., uh, to be filled out in the coming, coming week uh, after Carnival. The new board of directors at Grenada Electricity Services Limited comprises Andrea St. Bernard, Rodney George, Hugh Thomas, James Pitt, and Lazarus Antoine. Chairman is Benedict Brathwaite. Prime Minister Mitchell was asked to clarify concerns of conflict of interest in the appointment of Gwenleg board member Andrea St. Bernard, who reportedly has relations with former major shareholders, WRB. <laughs> Pretty certain as it is that I'm alive today, um, that Ms. Simona has never had any association, affiliation, or relationship of any kind with WRB. So I'm not sure what's the basis for that uh, assertion. So if you if you have one, I'm happy to um, to have it shared. But I can say categorically that Ms. Simona has never had any association with WRB. The new board of directors for the Citizenship by Investment Committee comprises. Banker Richard Duncan as chairman and Dion Moses as deputy chairman. The other members of the committee are Daisy Joseph Andal, Ronald Theodore, Dr. Wayne Sandiford, and Dr. Stephen Fletcher. Appointment to the Citizenship by Investment Committee is for a period of three years. Well, not everyone likes traveling between Grenada and Karakou on a ferry. Some actually prefer air travel. With SVG Air now providing that alternative, Grenadians are buzzing on social media about how happy they are. Take a look with Beverly Telesford. GBN Social Buzz is reaching beyond the local platform to share with you what's trending on social media. We browse the World Wide Web and bring to you the topics inciting the most reaction and debate among users. SVG Air is back. At exactly 11.30 on Wednesday, SVG Air landed at the Maurice Bishop International Airport with 18 passengers on board, including Minister for Cargo and PT Martin Gaffes, Stephen Andrews. The airline will connect passengers between Grenada and the Grenadine Islands. You can now leave the system Royal Karakou and land in Grenada or vice versa in just 25 minutes with 18 passengers on board which included Minister for Karakou and PT Martinique Affairs Honorable Tevin Andrew. This twin otter aircraft was landed safely by Captain Reedy Freitas, CEO of the Grenada Tourism Authority Petra Roach who was on hand to welcome the crew said people can start booking flights. Just to put it in perspective we've got Monday, Tuesday, Friday to Carl 7.30 from St. Vincent to Karakou, 8.10 from Karakou to Grenada, and 9.10 from Grenada to Karakou. GBN social media users took to the comment section to share their thoughts on the latest developments. The following views are of members of the public and not of the GBN. 
Kadela said, we must never underestimate the importance of air travel and connectivity across the region to foster trade and development, business adventures, regional tourism, and more. Josie said, wonderful news, well done. The impossible has now become possible. Night landing will be the next step and bigger planes. Cargo and PC Martinique are moving forward, and it's that. Roy said, let's start a new tradition required. Everyone in Grenada and visitors must visit the sister isles of Karakou and PT Martinique at least once per year. Michelle said, does it really matter who did what? Let's just be glad that it's here. Salian added, this was much needed, I have to say. There should also be everyday transporting to Karakou and PT Martinique and the large ferries need to start going to PT Martinique. This nonsense of transfer from vehicle to another boat is too hectic, especially for older citizens traveling. If we're serving our people, let's do it right. Princess said, my carry-on is ready to go hopping. Let's take a travel business between the islands forward. That's what's buzzing tonight. We encourage you, our viewers and listeners, to submit your think pieces on trending topics locally, regionally, and internationally via our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Continue to share your thoughts and concerns with us on our social media platforms. Network news still ahead from us to mid the Ministry of Mobilization, Implementation and Transformation to take up residence at the ECCB building. For all those who missed it the first time, Julian Fedon is back. Tonight we stand our ground. Tonight we stand on the side of history. Julian Fedon, a heritage theater production written and directed by Chris DeRiggs. Experience the conflict, the romance, the lighter moments, the drama. Three big performances, Friday 12th, Saturday 13th, and Sunday 14th August at the Grenada Trade Center, 7 p.m. each night. Bring out the entire family and enjoy this very special experience in Grenadian theater. Pan takes center stage and fantastic Saturday Ultra from 8 p.m. on Saturday, 6th August. Come see Panorama at its very best as six steel bands battle it out. Then at midnight, it's the after party as Bouillon meets Pan and Jab. Live on stage out of Dominica, it's the WCK band. Together with Talbry. Lava Man. Lost Ways and the Action Band. Vaughn! Skinny Banton, Lil Carey, plus the top three winners of the Groovy and Power Soca Monarch competition will be performing. Tickets cost $100, available from Go to Fat, Grenade and Optical, and Spice Mask Corporation's office. Fantastic Saturday Ultra, Saturday, August 6th. Six steel bands, one stage from 8 p.m. as Bouillon meets Pan and Jack at the National Stadium. National Stadium. National Stadium. Parents, do you go to bed with the knowledge that your children are comfortably asleep in the next room? Or are they allowed to attend every FET advertised? You are responsible for the safety and well-being of your children, and it is your responsibility to know their whereabouts. Children should not be at adult events. Please guide your children, engage them in age-appropriate activities. Let us be spicy parents for this carnival season and beyond. S. Speak to your children about positive behavior. P. Pay attention to them at all times. I. Inspire good behavior in your children by also displaying good behavior. C. Check with your children. Always know their whereabouts. Y. You are responsible for your children. Maintain control to keep them safe. This is a message from the National Parenting Program, Ministry of Social and Community Development, Housing and Gender Affairs. Affordable quality products delivered to you via superb service. We are superb distributors, wholesalers and authorized agents for trusted products you know and love. Like Rika Juices, Pure Heaven Products, Bibin Diapers, New Bright Laundry Detergent, Allegra Pasta and more. Contact Superb Distributors at 435-2948 for superb quality and service. I want you to control your anger. There's a way to feel better. That one thing to remember. No matter where you are, you can be a star.
to laugh. Hey, hey. As Home Base Entertainment presents Caribbean Comedy Fest. John. Yeah. yeah. Sunday, August 14th, Grenada National Stadium, featuring the region's most laughable characters from Trinidad. Larry Joseph. Listen, darling, I never question your fidelity, you know. Dolores Alexander. I'll just drink some water. You ain't any proper English. <laughs> water. <laughs> The Entertainer from St. Vincent, Morris Horn, and from Barbados, the duo Rum and Coke. Also featuring our very own The African Man, Kareem Alexis, Brent Charlton, and King Dre. And hosted by Senator. Get your early bird $50 tickets now, then $60 regular, or pay more at the door. Ticket outlets, Cherokee's Uppers in the Bus Terminal, Grenadian Optica, Mega Force Office, and go to Fed.com. Sunday, August 14th, Sunday after Carnival, Caribbean Comedy Fest. It's open 6 p.m. So by 7 p.m., you go sit. I going to sleep. <laughs> and you go laugh. I'm only going to laugh. <laughs> Weathergard Pro. For every project, there's only one Pro. This is GBN. We've got the means, the power, and the medium. This segment is brought to you by Flu. Why pay full price for your mobile when you can pay half? Just bundle your home internet and mobile services with Flo and save 50% on your mobile bill. That's money in your pockets every month. Plus now you get free YouTube and WhatsApp data. And you can share your plan with up to three other numbers. Upgrade now and get a free smartphone. Switch and keep your number. Learn more at discoverflow.co. Welcome back. The Ministry of Mobilization, Implementation and Transformation will move to a new location in the coming weeks. This comes as the Ministry organizes its team to begin ensuring that all government ministries are effective. Projects. Minister for Mobilization, Implementation and Transformation, Andy Williams, explains. Now, this new Ministry of Mobilization, Implementation, and transformation has been recently added by the government with a mandate to lead the mobilization, implementation, and transformation of Grenada's policies agenda. MIT is therefore at the heart of the government transformative agenda. Therefore, the ministry seeks to ensure the delivery of government's mission critical priorities. Integral to doing this is the ministry's mandate to reshape Grenada's mindset by inspiring and engaging the citizens in delivering the national transform tra transformative agenda. Minister William says his ministry is committed to ensuring that every task it takes on is completed. And more of this will follow as we launch the ministry in, uh, in the upcoming weeks. The housing of the ministry will be at the ECCB building on the Kainage, St. George's. Uh, the setup of the financial accounting system, inclusive of the vote, associated programs and accounts for the ministry is done by the Ministry of Finance. So, therefore, just to give a little insight uh, as to MIT, MIT will be the ministry that will ensure that things get done on a timely ma manner or in a timely manner. Minister Williams was speaking at the post-cabinet briefing on Wednesday. Let's glide into this evening's ISO submission with SVG Air. A good eye captures all. GBN ISO is brought to you by Clairvision. Life is beautiful if only you can see it. Clairvision Eye Center helps you do just that. 
provide expert service, classy eyewear, and cutting-edge technology, all with a quality customer experience. See better, feel better, and look better. Meet us today at clairvisiongrenada.com or call 444-0055, WhatsApp 409-0055, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Clear Vision Eye Center. Let's see life and the world with a clear vision. Tonight's GBNI saw features SVG Air's first landing at the Morris Bishop International Airport after a prolonged absence. At exactly 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday, SVG Air landed at the MBIA with 18 passengers on board, including Minister for Caraco and Piti Martinique Affairs, Honorable Tevin Andrews. The airline will connect passengers between Grenada and the Grenadine Islands. Send us your photo and video submissions via WhatsApp on 405-3052 or our other social media platforms. The Sports News and Around the Globe with Beverly Talisford coming up. Fuel your dreams with a communal vehicle loan. It's a huge deal with super awesome rates and discounts. Get the vehicle that's just for you. Enjoy your journey. Make memories. Explore more. We're fueling dreams to your destination. It's a huge deal and it's just for you. Your destination and we'll take you there. Call or message us on WhatsApp 405-6670 or 405-2248. Let's get you where you have to be with communal and friends. This special promotion is in collaboration with The Beacon Insurance, Netherlands Insurance, Greens Automotive, RF Motors, and Specialized Automotive. We're fueling dreams to your destination. Apply today. Lending terms and conditions apply. When you need your prescription filled or you require non-prescribed medication, supplements, or all your personal needs, visit Gittins Healthcare at locations on Wall Street Grand Dance, Victoria Street Grand Dance, and Central Deputy Street Wall. Gittins Healthcare aims to provide an exceptional personalized pharmacy experience. Additionally, children under 5 and adults 55 years and over will enjoy 10% discount on purchases of $20 and over on prescription medication. Stop setting and for less, visit Kittens Healthcare, where your health is our priority. The following is a paid political announcement. The views expressed are of the client and not the Grenada Broadcasting Network. Churches and the education system have failed Grenada tremendously. The people after election behave like lunatics and low-class animals. Independent person will know that my choice and your choice should be respected. Who can say that your choice is better than mine? How can you prove it? Both it's time you respect the opinions of others. The preceding was a paid political announcement. The views expressed are of the client and not the Grenada Broadcasting Network. After two years of no mass, no bacchanal, and no vibe, are you ready to be thrilled again? Well, get ready for amazing colors. Well, Monday Night Mass. This year will be the most amazing return ever. Amazing Colors presents Trilogy. Want to play Monday Night Mass? Then it's easy. Call 415-6174. It's Amazing Colors Trilogy. Unlimited drinks all night. It's Amazing Colors Trilogy. Monday Night Mass. It will be amazing. Be ready for school with the coolest deals from Court. Free gifts with your back-to-school purchases. Plus, up to 50% off cell phones, computers, printers, televisions, and more. Shop today with no cash and get instant credit on three to 36 months credit plans. Save big with great deals and head back to school in style. Only from Courts, bringing value home. Conditions apply. level of convenience and comfort awaits you when you shop at Rise and Shine Supermarket and Hardware Supplies, Griffin Lane, Grenville. Convenient, 
Because we are open Sunday to Sunday. We're even at your service on public holidays. Comfort, because we are easily accessible to the physically challenged. Free Wi-Fi is available while you shop and bags come at no charge. Everyday low prices and excellent customer care. Adequate parking available. We supply everything you can possibly think of. Family and home supplies, fresh meat, vegetables, and personal care products. All brands of cooking gas at affordable prices. You can send in your order, have it pulled, or pick up express. Keeping an eye on the weather, this is GBN. We've got you covered. Good evening, sporting fans. Swimmers Zachary Gresham and Tilly Collymore continue to receive high praise over their performances at the Commonwealth Games. Swimming ended at the Commonwealth Games <coughs> yesterday. Between them both, the registered A number personal best, Tilly Collymore, competed in eight events. The 50-meter freestyle, 100-meter freestyle, 200-meter freestyle, 400-meter freestyle, 500-meter back, 100-meter backstroke, along with the 50-meter and 100-meter butterfly. Colmo's personal bests were obtained in the 100 backstroke, the 50 backstroke, the 100 butterfly and the 400 freestyle races. Amazing. Um, I have really absorbed a lot of what the other athletes are doing and I've really taken that in and it means the world to me to be here um, at this age um, is incredible. Um, yeah, and I've just been very honored to represent my country and do what I love. Meanwhile, Gresham competed in seven events and obtained personal best times in four of them, breaking three of his own national records. In the 200-meter individual medley, he swam a time of 2 minutes 13.13 seconds from his original 2 minutes 14.50, which was obtained at the Panam Aquatics held in Trinidad earlier this year. His other records were in the 100 butterfly and the 200 backstroke. In the 100-meter butterfly, he swam a new time of 57.80 compared to his previous time of 57.87, which was obtained at the recent CCCAN Swim Championships in Barbados. In the 200 meter backstrokes, he swam a new time of 2 minutes 14.29 seconds compared to his previous time of 2 minutes 14.62, which was also obtained at the recent CCCAN Championships. Still with swimming, swim coach Amanda Dean has been reflecting on the performances of the two young swimmers. She says part of Grenada's contingent at the Games, Coach Mandy, as she's affectionately called, says no amount of praise should be spared in the direction of both swimmers to perform at their best. And I think they both did, you know. Lily is young still, she's only 14. And to be that age and to be competing with the best in the world is quite something. So I was really proud of why, how she handled it. Um, she did some of her best times and sometimes just kind of on her best. And so I think altogether she handled it really well and um, did proud. And Zachary, he's a bit older, he's 17, so he's had a little bit more experience and he did really well. He did a lot of his own personal bests and also broke those three records and qualified for Pan Am Games. From the splash of the pool, we lace up for the boxing ring where Cameron Moses and Andy Andel have been crafting out their own niche. Fighting in the heavyweight division, Andel will look to hold his own in his quarterfinal clash against his Samoan counterpart later this evening. Last evening, Moses saw the middleweight Cameron Moses go under his quarterfinal matchup against his South African counterpart. A total contract to his heroics earlier on the, on the week against the Tuvalian in in his round of a 16 clash. And that's what we look around the region next.
This is your one Caribbean media hookup. I'm your presenter, Beverly Tellisford. In Jamaica, Constable Noel Maitland, also known as the producer Noel One Time, the boyfriend of missing social media personality Donnelly Donaldson, has been charged with murder in connection with her disappearance. More in this TVG report. The missing persons case for 23-year-old Donnelly Donaldson has now turned into a murder investigation. Her boyfriend, Constable Noel Maitland, is the prime suspect. Constable Maitland was this afternoon charged with the murder of his 23-year-old girlfriend, Donnelly Donaldson. His formal charge comes after 20 days of diligent and comprehensive investigation by detectives in what began as a missing persons investigation. But given the evidence that was being collected, subsequently became a murder probe. According to Donaldson's mom, she was last seen on Monday, July 11. She left home with Officer Maitland for his apartment. The mother revealed that the officer said Donaldson left his home the morning after, but the police say the evidence suggests otherwise. We believe that Ms. Donaldson was killed on Tuesday the, f uh, Tuesday the 12th of July, any time between 4 and 8 in the evening. And this is supported by, as I indicated before, forensics and, this, and um, technology. In St. Lucia, crime reduction specialist Niels Chaiten held his first consultation with a wide cross-section of citizens and groups in the south of St. Lucia on Thursday. The NSDC South Building was the venue for the first in a series of discussions, training exercises and programs facilitated by the Canada Beast expert. Details of this HTS News report. In early July, faith-based groups of youth fought, led by the Seventh-day Adventist Church, marched through the streets of the town in condemnation of the upsurge in violent crime in the community. The Royal Sinusha Police Force endorsed anti-crime march, sought divine intervention to curb gun violence gripping the urban south. Now the SDA Church, with the endorsement of the Ministry of Equity, is following up prayer with action by recruiting the services of a crime reduction specialist. A formal ceremony was held at the VIP lounge at the Uranura International Airport on Wednesday night, at which Canada-based Niels Chaitan was officially introduced to a wide cross-section of societal groups. He has since rolled up his sleeves and getting down to work, first up with a meeting at the NSDC South on Thursday. Chaitan is a stickler for remedial action. Fighting crime and violence, no matter where it is, what part of the world, it would not be a, it has to be a multi, multi-pronged approach, right? Um, because, of course, uh, starting from the E in in enforcement, you see what happens there. Um, it's the same guy that's enforced that will be probably in jail, probably in jail if that's what the court thinks. And uh, he's in jail, then he needs, of course, are we bringing him back on the street the same way he went in? Are we going to address the issues that may have caused him to be where he's today? Further afield, U.S. President Joe Biden signed a new executive order on abortion. The move could make it easier for women to travel between states to get the procedure done. It is Biden's second executive order on abortion since the Supreme Court overturned the Roe v. Wade decision. For nearly 50 years, that ruling protected the right to terminate a pregnancy. More in this Al Jazeera report. Another salvo in the battle to restore reproductive rights. The first meeting of a task force which will explore ways in which to restore a woman's right to choose and protect her in the process. The executive order makes sure health care providers comply with federal law so women don't face delays or denials of medically necessary care. And this executive order advances research and data collection to evaluate the impact of this reproductive health crisis is having on, 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 on maternal health and other health conditions and outcomes. President Biden signs an executive order directing the Secretary of Health to advance access to reproductive health care services. And we're going to continue forward, including, for example, in making sure medication abortion is available to women throughout this country. And that was your one Caribbean media hookup. I was your presenter, Beverly Tellisford.
headlines before we leave you. The Royal Grenada Police Force to adopt zero tolerance approach ahead of major carnival events. Grenada Tourism Authority counts the economic impact of SVG flights. Government dishes out thousands of dollars in financial support to Groovy and Power Sokomonak finalists. In around the globe, regionally, in Jamaica, Noel Maitland charged with Donnelly Donaldson's murder. Internationally, U.S. President Joe Biden signs new executive order on abortion. Plus in the sports news, swimmers Zachary Gresham and Tilly Colomo receive high praise for their performances at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. If you missed any part of this newscast, a repeat of it will be broadcast at 10 o'clock tonight. Continue to follow us online, gbn.gd, or on GBN Television Facebook page and YouTube channel for these and other top stories. I'm Ken Roy Batiste. That's all from us in our newsroom for now. Good night.